Thank you. Now, Vanessa, uh, let's come back to you. And uh, some comments that we want to highlight uh, from a State Department official. Yeah, quite extraordinary. I do think what we're seeing right now is this kind of empowerment of the racist, fascist, extremist elements of society. We saw it even with Swella Braverman before she was sacked in the UK. But here is a headline in the World Socialist or website. I just picked this randomly. Uh, many of the media outlets have reported on it. Veteran State Department official Stuart Seldowitz outed as a genocidal bigot after videos, videos of him harassing New York food cart workers go viral. I also want to point out that he has also been harassing Russian officials at the UN in New York, including Dmitry uh, Polyansky. But let's just play the video, which I think people will find quite horrifying. We killed 4,000 Palestinian kids. You know what? It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Go, go. Wait. It's not my fault that you pray to a criminal. Listen, listen I'm, I'm open now. Do I say something? No. Okay, go. I don't want to go. I'm born here. But you're a terrorist. You support terrorists. Listen, go. Did you rape your daughter like Muhammad did? Hmm? Did you rape your daughter like Muhammad? I don't speak English. You only speak English? I don't speak English. No. You don't speak English? Yes. All right. Well, that's, that, see, that just shows how ignorant you are. Because, you know, Muhammad was a rapist. You speak Arabic, the language of the Quran, the Holy Quran, that some, some people use as a toilet. <laughs> what do you think of that, people who use the, the Quran as a toilet? Does it bother you? Does it bother you? Tell me the truth. I don't speak English. You don't speak English? Ah, that's too bad. That's why you're selling food in a, in a food cart. Because you're, in, you're ignorant. But you should learn English. It, it'll help you. Of course, When they yeah. deport you back to Egypt. I would just like also to say that after the point where he says they'll deport you back to Egypt, he takes a photo of the guy and tells him that when he goes back, he will have informed both immigration in the US and the intelligence agencies in Egypt that will um, basically pull out his father's fingernails. Um, so uh, according to a now deleted biography from his former employer, Gotham Government Relations, a well-connected New York-based lobbying firm, also packed full of Zionist sympathizers and Zionists themselves. Seldovitz was the firm's foreign affairs chair until this week when allegedly they distanced themselves from him. In its profile, Gotham touted Seldovitz's expert resume, which includes former director of National Security Council under President Obama and former diplomat for the US State Department during five presidencies. 99 to 2003, he was deputy director of the US State Department's Office of Israel and Palestinian Affairs under former President and war criminal George W. Bush. That is a racist bigot was in charge of mediating the two state solution, underscoring how hollow and cynical these maneuvers by US imperialism and its client state Israel were and continue to be. Um, from 2009 to 2011, he was acting director for the National Security Council South Asia Directorate under former President Barack, deporter in chief Obama. And just moving on to um, the next slide, um, he was a three time recipient of the Department's Superior Honor Award. The award is given to employees who, are, among other reasons, have made contributions which had substantial impact on the accomplishment of the agency's missions, goals, or objectives, or whose accomplishments substantially contributed to the advancement of US government interests. And I agree with this statement. In other words, Seldowitz's rants are not just the ravings of a fascistic lunatic, but a blunt articulation of US government policy. I can't disagree with that. He was arrested after the videos went viral. Um, he's been released pending trial for hate crime stalking under supervised release terms. Yes. Uh, Vanessa, thanks for that. Now, uh, let's just, you just wanted to very briefly mention the tunnels mm -hmm. uh, in Gaza. 
Yeah, because, you know, so much is being made of these tunnels. The fact that the Shifa tunnels, for example, were actually made by Israel when they occupied Gaza, but also the fact that tunnels have historically been used during times of occupation or times of uh, aggression, particularly, of course, by U.S. neocolonialists. Um, and if we look at the couple of excerpts that I took from this article that I do recommend people read Tunnels for Safety and Tunnels for Death, let's have a look at what happened during uh, the U.S. Operation Desert Storm when, of course, they in in 1991 um, and attacked the Amria shelter in Baghdad. At that time, families in the neighborhood had huddled overnight in the basement shelter for a relatively safe night's sleep. The smart bombs penetrated the Achilles heel of the building, the spot where ventilation shafts had been installed. The first bomb exploded and expelled 17 bodies out of the building. The second bomb followed immediately after the first and its explosion sealed the exits. The temperature inside the shelter rose to 500 degrees Celsius and the pipes overhead burst, resulting in boiling water that cascaded down on the innocents while they slept. Hundreds of people were burned alive. And let's have a look at the tunnel system that nobody is focusing on, the underground nuclear development tunnel systems uh, about 53 miles from Gaza, first built in 1958. It's a complex now called the Shimon Peres Nezhev Nuclear Research Center, where at least 80 thermonuclear weapons have been developed. The facility underwent a major renovation just two years ago. And to this day, writes Joshua Frank, Israel has never openly admitted possessing such weaponry and yet has consistently refused to allow inspectors from the International Atomic Energy Agency to visit the secretive site. So these tunnels somehow are fine. But Hamas tunnels, resistance tunnels are not okay. Yes, indeed. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Right. To my friends in immigration. Really? Okay, go, yeah. And to the Egyptian, uh, the Muhabarat wants your picture. Okay, yeah, go. Yeah? You know the Muhabarat? Hmm? The Muhabarat. No, I don't know. You don't know? I just speak English. No? Yeah, go, yeah. The Muhabarat in, in Egypt will get your parents. Go, go, go. Does yeah, your yeah. father like his fingernails? They'll, they'll take them out one by one. Yalla, rough me in. Yalla, yalla, go, go, go. Why should I go? Why should I go? Tell me why I should go. I'm standing here. I'm an American. I have free. I, it's a free country. It's not like Egypt. Yeah, smile for me. Mm -hmm. Rape your daughter like Muhammad did? Hmm? Did you rape your daughter like Muhammad? I don't speak English. You only speak English? No, no English. No. You don't speak English. Yes. All right. Well, that's that. See, that just shows how ignorant you are. Because your know, Muhammad was a rapist. It says in the in the hadith. In, oh, your, in your holy book. Oh Muhammad. What? Oh Muhammad. Muhammad, your your prophet. You know who he is. My prophet? Yeah. Okay. He was a rapist. He raped Aisha. Does it say that in the hadith or not? You know that? I do speak English. What? No English. You don't speak English? What do you speak? What do you speak? Do you speak Arabic? The language of the Quran? The Holy Quran? That some, some people use as a toilet? <laughs> what do you think of that? People who use the, the Quran as a toilet? Does it bother you? <laughs> Does it bother you? Tell me the truth. I don't speak English. You don't speak English? Ah, that's too bad. That's why you're selling food in a, in a food cart. Because you're, you're ignorant. But you should learn English. It, it'll help you. Of course, When they yeah. deport you back to Egypt, and the Muhabarat wants to interview you for being a... Uh, uh, because I'm more... What do you want to say to New York's Muslim community about your remarks? Stewart. Stewart. What do you want to say about to the Muslim community about your remarks, Stewart? This whole thing started 
when I innocently asked him uh, if he was Egyptian, he said yes. Um, I said, this must be a tough time to be an Egyptian in New York because of everything. that. And he said, why is that? And I said, well, because of all the stuff that's going on uh, in Gaza and in Israel. And he said, no, it doesn't cause me any problem uh, because I, I, I'm a, I fully support what Hamas did. Um, I think what they did was fine. It's not an issue for me, and it doesn't cause me any problem. I said, Does, you mean you're okay with the raping of, of women, the, the killing of children, the taking of hostages, and the killing of 1,200 people uh, in, in Israel? And he said, yes, it was all for Palestine. And... A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. A bullshit.